And the Lakers right now, they don't have any uh, ongoing discussions on a Russell Westbrook trade. Their conversations have been about, you know, players around the edges and some uh, perimeter players who might be able to help them, either perhaps in a starting role or off their bench. You know, they've talked about Alec Burks in New York, Dennis Schroeder with the Celtics, and a number of others. But $47 million owed to Russell Westbrook next season on his deal. And remember, there were a lot of people on board uh, in the front office, uh, in the locker room, with the Lakers about making the Westbrook trade. Right. And it's one that is a, a decision now that, you know, very likely, at least through the end of this season, uh, they're going to have to figure out how to make it work with Russell Westbrook and, and try to get the most out of this uh, current group. Right. I mean, LeBron James at the top of that list of people, front office, not necessarily, but people who gave the green light. Let's bring Russ Westbrook in here. And obviously he's having the worst season of his career. Uh, it's not just him, though, but we'll dive into that a little later. Uh, we've seen some moves to this point, Woj, involving a handful of teams, but nothing blockbuster that could change the landscape of the NBA. Not yet. However, if James Harden has moved from Brooklyn, that would change things. What's the latest with this James Harden situation, Woj? Uh, Sage, James Harden wants a trade to the 76ers today, I'm told. Uh, he has uh, not told the Nets uh, specifically that. Uh, I'm told he is very, uh, has a lot of trepidation about the idea of publicly, a of asking out of, of, two, of two different teams in two successive seasons. But the Nets know where he stands. The 76ers know where he stands. And, and I'm told those two teams are communicating today. They've got until 3 o'clock to see if there's a deal to be made uh, that would certainly be centered around James Harden and Ben Simmons. I think Brooklyn would need uh, more, maybe significantly more than Ben Simmons uh, to do a deal. Uh, but we're within three hours now of the trade deadline. Uh, I, I do know there's been contact between those two teams today. I expect there will be more. Uh, but it's a risk reward for each team. Yeah. Um, do the Nets risk losing him in free agency this summer? Uh, do the Sixers risk having to really gut their roster this summer to create the cap space for him? You know, it's hard to believe it's, it's been just a couple weeks over a year since he got his way after requesting and demanding a trade out of Houston. And here we are again as he's having arguably one of the worst seasons of his career. Uh, we heard within the last couple of minutes, Woj, uh, there was some phone ringing going on, a trade involving the defending champs from Milwaukee. What can you tell us about the Bucks? Yeah, I'm told that the Bucks they have traded in a four-team deal. The Bucks are sending uh, Dante DiVincenzo uh, to the Sacramento Kings. Uh, in the deal, the Bucks get back Serge Ibaka from the Clippers. Uh, those are the headliners in that deal. Marvin Bagley Jr., former second overall pick in the draft, he goes from the Kings to the Pistons in this deal. So some more size for the defending champions and Serge Ibaka and uh, a, a player that kind of gives them a little bit of an insurance policy as they wait to see how Brooke Lopez is going to recover uh, on their front line from, uh, from an injury this season. But how about the Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.